Hey, it's Nathan with CurriesEyeMarketing.com. In this video, I'm gonna be reviewing ClickFunnels 2.0. Now, as you probably know, ClickFunnels is an all-in-one platform. So it lets you have a website, build funnels, lets you create courses, set up workflows or email marketing automation, lets you build pages, and also has product features so you can sell physical and digital products. And there's different options depending on what type of product you're selling. And also analytics. So that way you can track how well your funnels are performing and optimize them to increase your conversion rates. So I'm gonna be comparing these different features and functions to other tools that do comparable things, which is this table right here in the top. Then we're gonna get into other considerations. Should you actually buy ClickFunnels 2.0? And then my final thoughts. And this document right here is available to you in the description down below if you wanna check it out. So let's go ahead and start at the top. Now I am comparing these different tools to the basic ClickFunnels 2.0 plan, which is $127 a month or $1,524 a year. And so that's kind of serving as a baseline here. So one thing that ClickFunnels does is it lets you host your website and create a blog. So I compared it to WP Engine and WordPress. And WP Engine is about $180 a year. And WordPress is free unless you start adding plugins that cost money. But I would say ClickFunnels 2.0 is about as 80% as good as WP Engine and WordPress at hosting websites and supporting a blog. Like they both have quick load times and have CDNs or content delivery networks. Now WordPress has a lot of optionality, function, features, plugins, etc. You can really do a lot with it. However, the ClickFunnels blogging functionality is reasonably good. It does take into consideration SEO, categories, tagging authors, custom design, etc. But ultimately, I don't think anything can really beat WordPress and that's why it's at 80%. So we'll consider ClickFunnels worth for hosting and blogging to be about $144 a year. And up next we have Funnels and I'm comparing it to Thrivecart. Now Thrivecart is kind of unique because it is a one-time fee of $500. So that's kind of nice because you pay it and you're done. And I really like Thrivecart and think a $500 one-time payment is a steal. But if you wanted to plug another comp in here, you could throw in Samcart, which is about $1,428 a year. And that'll probably give you a more reasonable value of how much ClickFunnels 2.0 is actually worth. Now I did compare ClickFunnels to Thrivecart at 100%. So ClickFunnels has a much better page builder and offers much more flexibility, but Thrivecart is a one-time fee and still offers upsells, downsells, subscriptions, etc. So since Thrivecart is a one-time fee, I really like that and that's why I have it at 100%. But really ClickFunnels is definitely more powerful than Thrivecart. So it should probably be, you know, maybe 150% even because you can definitely create more advanced funnels within ClickFunnels. I'm gonna keep it at 100% just for the sake of example. And so ClickFunnels 2.0 funnels feature is worth about $500. Up next, we have courses, and I'm comparing it to Teachable, and Teachable costs $1,428 a year. And I'd say that ClickFunnels 2.0 is about 75% as good as Teachable. So ClickFunnels has unlimited courses, while Teachable is limited to 50, so depending how many courses you have, this may or may not be a big deal to you. Now ClickFunnels has a better page builder, and of course it has funnels included, so you can make better sales pages for your courses. ClickFunnels lets you create more modules and sub-modules. So you can actually break down your course into different smaller sections. Now, a couple bad things about ClickFunnels. So the ClickFunnels comments kind of sucks. So if you have students and you want them asking videos on the different lessons, like it's really hard to keep track of those questions and answer them. That said, you could create a group and a topic within the community center in ClickFunnels and have everybody ask their questions there. But if having your students ask questions on the lessons themselves is the big deal, well, ClickFunnels doesn't really support that. Also, Teachable has bulk uploads of videos and lessons, which is a lot easier. So if you already have a course, you can just drag all your videos over to your browser and it'll upload them and create different lessons for your videos and it just saves a whole bunch of time. Whereas ClickFunnels is one at a time and it's a lot of manual work. So again, this kind of depends on how much video content you have. But if you have a lot, using ClickFunnels can be kind of painful because there's no bulk uploads and it can just take a lot of time. Now both do host videos and files, so that is nice. You don't have to set up like a Vimeo account and make it private and all that type of stuff in order to host your videos or files. So I do like that both platforms support this. And so given all that, I think ClickFunnels 2.0 is about 75% as good as Teachable, which means that it's worth about $1,071 per year. Up next, we have the automation feature. And for this, I'm comparing ClickFunnels 2.0 to ActiveCampaign. And I do wanna point out that I'm looking at the 10,000 contacts account for ActiveCampaign, because that's what's supported in this ClickFunnels account here is 10,000 contacts. However, if you have less than 1,000 contacts, for example, then ActiveCampaign is only $360 a year. So this cost right here could vary significantly depending on how many contacts you have. 
And I just wanted to point that out real quick. Now I'd say that ClickFunnels 2.0 is about 95% as good as Active Campaign. And that's really saying something because I think Active Campaign is a top tier email marketing platform and ClickFunnels 2.0 is not far behind it. At least not for the light Active Campaign plan. Now there are more advanced Active Campaign plans that cost significantly more, but include like a full CRM or customer relationship management tool. So you can develop pipelines and stuff like that. And I know ClickFunnels is working on adding a full CRM. So we'll see that whenever it comes out. But for the sake of this review, I'm comparing it to Active Campaign Lite. And Active Campaign has more native integrations with other tools. However, you can use Zapier to integrate with ClickFunnels. Also, Active Campaign may limit the links you include in your emails. For example, they will cut you off if you use affiliate links in your emails. And I know quite a few people that have lost their Active Campaign account for doing this. So if you want to include affiliate links in your emails, be careful using Active Campaign. And another pro for ClickFunnels is that it easily plays with the ClickFunnel pages, users, etc. Because because again, it's an all-in-one platform and it just works. Whereas if you have Active Campaign, you need to install a pixel and other tracking things to your site to track user behaviors on your site. And both ClickFunnels and Active Campaign have a lot of the same email marketing automation features. Like they really are quite close and that's why I put it at 95% comparable which means that the email marketing automation feature within ClickFunnels is worth about $1,584.60 per year. And so this feature alone may make ClickFunnels 2.0 a worthwhile purchase. Moving on, we have products in store. And for this one, I'm comparing it to Shopify. Now Shopify costs $468 per year for a comparable plan. And I would put ClickFunnels 2.0 at about 75% as good as Shopify. They, they have similar backends for order management and can integrate with shipping providers. ClickFunnels lets you do digital products and integrates nicely with the memberships and courses area. Both allow different variants. Shopify has a shopping cart so people could go to the store and add products to a shopping cart and do a checkout where they buy multiple products at once. Whereas ClickFunnels does not have that feature. So if you're looking for a typical shopping cart experience, well, it's not available within ClickFunnels 2.0. Now Shopify has lots of apps that can add features. However, they usually cost additional money for the good stuff. So it's nice how you can customize Shopify how you want, but you're probably gonna be paying for it. And then ClickFunnels has store funnels already built in. So what that means is somebody could go to your store and buy one of your products and then automatically be taken through a funnel on the purchase of one of your products within your store. So anyway, I'd say this ClickFunnels 2.0 feature is worth about $351 per year. Finally, we have the analytics feature. And for this, I'm gonna be comparing it to Funnelytics. And the cost for Funnelytics is $2,388 per year. And I would say that ClickFunnels 2.0 is about 65% as good as Funnelytics at monitoring analytics. So ClickFunnels Analytics works out of the box, which is really nice. You don't have to do anything. It just starts tracking your visitors, tracking your conversions, tracking your leads and your sales and your subscriptions and all that type of stuff. Whereas Funnelytics has a lot more options and details and is definitely cream of the crop, but it does take quite a while to get everything set up and working correctly. And there is a fairly steep learning curve, but it is a very solid analytics tool. Anyway, I'd say that the ClickFunnels 2.0 Analytics is worth about $1,552.20 per year. And so you can take these different features that are available in ClickFunnels 2.0 and you can pick out what you need and what you would use it for and then kind of take these worths right here and see if they add up to more than the cost of ClickFunnels because that would be kind of a cut and dry way to tell if ClickFunnels is actually worth the price. Now I do have some other considerations to go over as well. First and foremost, like I've said previously, ClickFunnels is all in one. So you don't have to worry about connecting different tools together. And some of those additional tools cost money, like if you're using Zapier. There are fees associated with it and sometimes you know Zapier doesn't work correctly. So the next thing is headaches. And as you may know, using multiple tools and trying to connect them all together usually results in some headaches. So if everything is available right within your ClickFunnels account, it can save you a lot of headaches. And with ClickFunnels, you don't have to learn all these different tools and how they all work and how to connect them all together. And ClickFunnels does have a very active Facebook group. They have pretty good support. And of course, there's lots of YouTube videos teaching you how to use ClickFunnels 2.0 know just like my youtube channel which you should subscribe to now for the moment of truth should you actually buy clickfunnels 2.0 so i have a few different scenarios here so if you are broke and think ClickFunnels is going to magically make you money, no, you should not buy ClickFunnels 2.0. Instead, you should focus on like what a business is, how to craft offers, maybe start a blog or a YouTube channel or a podcast, start to grow an audience, 
figure out their needs, wants, desires, etc. Then come up with products and services to help them out and come up with a game plan and then maybe you'll need ClickFunnels. But ClickFunnels is not some magic tool that is going to make you money. You still need products, you need services, you need great offers and you still need to do marketing. So if you're not prepared to do all that stuff, then save your money and come back to ClickFunnels when you have all your ducks in a row. Now, if you wanna host a site or a blog and maybe generate some leads here or there, no, you probably don't need ClickFunnels. It's probably overkill for what you're trying to do. You can set up a website, a blog, click leads for a couple hundred dollars a year, and it'll save you a thousand plus dollars a year. So do you already have a fully set up and configured business or website? Well, maybe ClickFunnels is for you, but this really comes down to you and if you wanna move stuff over to ClickFunnels or if you're going to use ClickFunnels to support or augment your current business setup, then you're gonna to have to weigh the pros and cons of doing that. That's really a business decision that only you can answer. But a follow-up question to this one is, do you see where you can get value from ClickFunnels compared to other tools? And basically this question is, are the features you're gonna be using in your ClickFunnels 2.0 account worth more than the price of ClickFunnels. Not to mention the fact you're going to save yourself from some headaches as well. And the final question here is, do you see value in ClickFunnels and how you can save money by consolidating all your tools into an all-in-one platform like ClickFunnels and save yourself from headaches? Well then, yeah, you probably should try out ClickFunnels 2.0. So some final thoughts here. ClickFunnels is a very solid all-in-one funnel builder, email marketing, training platform, analytics, and tracking tool that's built by marketers and people that run businesses and they built ClickFunnels for themselves. Now it is expensive, but if you can see how it can be valuable to you, I think it's worth trying it out. And they do have a 14 day free trial, which is actually easy to cancel as well. So you can always just try it out to see if it's a good fit for you. And of course, my affiliate link is in the description. So if this video or any videos I produce have helped you out and you wanna help me out, I appreciate it. And that is it for this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, and or head over to crazyourmarketing.com. And I hope you have a great rest of the day.